So here I am on Fortnite, right? I really like my Sergeant Llama skin. It's pretty awesome, you know, he's, he's buff, he's big, he looks pretty intimidating, and it's funny, because he's a llama. Let's just say, I don't want, I, you know, I don't feel like playing Battle Royale right now. I don't feel like doing that. So I go scroll down here. Wow, look, Fortnite OG Tycoon. I like Tycoon games. So screw it, you know, I'm gonna play that. Yes, select, and, 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 and oh. Oh, I... I I can't wear my my llama skin. What the hell is this, man? <laughs> Why, dude? Isn't the game rated T anyway? Kids shouldn't even be able to make an account on this game. So uh, last week, uh, Fortnite dropped their season seven slash eight update, and with that came brand new age rating guidelines for experiences created within UEFN. Basically, your map or whatever you create um, is going to have an age rating. You have to fill out this form and you'll get a E10+, T for teen, uh, M for mature rating, you know, stuff like that. And depending on what country you're in, every every country or region has like a different a different thing. Here, here in the United States, it's ESRB, so that's why I said it. And you know, when I first heard about them implementing this, I thought it was really cool, you know? I, I, of course, it's an extra step, and that's always annoying. But having your map be age rated by the ESRB or whatever, I thought that was pretty cool. So the update finally drops, right? And everyone's all excited. Oh my God, season seven and eight comes out. And it's revealed that you won't be able to use certain skins that are deemed inappropriate in certain experiences. Basically, if your map can be played by kids, then certain skins that have grenade belts on them, ammo belts that have, I don't know, guns. You won't be able to use them because they are inappropriate for that experience. And this caused outrage. People were saying UEFN ruined creative. And you know, I I don't really think much of it. I thought it was a little ridiculous, yeah. But I don't think it like ruined the game. Like, come on guys. Actually enough outrage to where Fortnite tweeted out yesterday that they would be making changes to revert this banning of skins, I guess you'd call it. Um, and I think everyone's happy with that. Well, I, I basically think they'll do. They'll just, they'll censor skins um, if there needs to be any censoring when they're played in experiences made for kids. I think that's the best way of going about it. Or maybe, maybe they'll add like toggles or something to where you can toggle anything inappropriate on the skin. Uh, they, they, they apparently have come up with some sort of solution and everyone's pretty much happy about that. So that's good. But yeah, other than that, there isn't really much other news about Fortnite Creative. Jeff Keighley tweeted out that the Game Awards is live in Fortnite and that you can join them to vote and select the best user created experience of the year, which I thought that was pretty cool. I don't think it's like an actual Game Awards like category, but you can vote for the best map. Um, and I don't know, I, j I just thought I'd include that because I think it's pretty neat. In terms of my YouTube channel, uh, I'm actually up. We're in the green, everybody. Views are up, watch time's up, only because I've been uploading slightly more, so don't. So thank you guys for the support. If you want to support me any further and you're new here, consider subscribing. If you want to go the extra mile, you can always use my supporter creator code in the Fortnite item shop. Now, if you guys haven't seen, I've also started working on my survival map, Gathuria, after months of not working on it because I've been scouting out what's happening with UEFN. And I've determined that it's not even worth it to uh, use UEFN at its current state. It's still very buggy. There's still a lot of things, a lot of kinks that need to be worked out with it. So I'm just going to be continuing the map. Now, it's still going to be a bit until the next episode because uh, you know, I have to go through and fix every single device on the map and it's a bit more tedious than I thought it would because I also have to rename every device because the map wasn't updated for or the event binding system. So it's a it's a whole project, but you know, we'll, we'll get there hopefully. And that's about all I have for today. So uh, yeah, subscribe, use my creator code and see ya, I guess.